Hello and welcome to Matt's channel. You are watching my introductory video. My name is Matt and I will be your host today. We are watching some clips from me playing Donkey Kong Country. If you haven't guessed already, my channel is going to be a Super Nintendo slash video gaming channel. I'm just going to have clips of games that I like to play and certain uh, projects that I might be working on. Just different things about classic video games. That's basically the gist of it. Um, but what you see here is me playing the original Donkey Kong Country that came out uh, for the SNES. It's the first one. Um, I'm actually uh, trying to play all three of them. Uh, before this, I was working on beating all the Marios and uh, I finished that. So I decided, oh, I'll just go ahead and play Donkey Kong Country. And that's what I did. But um, let, let's get some information down here about uh, Donkey Kong Country. Let's see. Uh, the game was produced by a company called Rare. Um, it was released in 1994. Um, I think the, the Super Nintendo came out for, in 1991 in America. So let's see how many years went by before they released it. Um, it was um, not made by the same guy who actually created the first Donkey Kong game, you know, the little pixelated Mario character that we're all used to seeing, um, the guy that uh, was trying to save the princess in the first arcade game, uh, the creator's name was Shigeru Miyamoto, and he did not create this game, um, he did have some influences on it, but um, I've only read this, and um, some other things here we can talk about uh, Donkey Kong Country. Um, first of all, uh, there's 40 levels in this game. Um, I don't know if you think that's a lot, but to me, <laughs> it was a lot. I started, um, fading fast at the end, but I persevered and got through it. Um, let's see. Um, uh, my favorite things about this game, the minecarts. So, uh, whoever's idea it was to come up with the minecarts is, uh, was a pretty badass idea. Uh, made the game really interesting. Um, what you'll see here is uh, me fighting the last bo bad guy. I played completely through this game, recorded it with my capture card, and I only kept two sections of video. I kept the section with that run you just saw there, which I did pretty good on a really hard level, and then the last bad guy fight. So, um, yeah, that's what I kept. But let's see, what else were we saying? Oh, the barrel levels. That's my other favorite thing online. Whoever came up with the barrel levels, it was a good idea. It, I know it's not uh, particularly a puzzle game, but as far as the skill goes, you gotta know what you're doing to be able to make it through the barrels, and especially this boss right here, like what I just did there, man. <laughs> that part took me a long time to get down the cannonball shooting. You gotta know when to go to the right just exactly, or else you're gonna get hit. Um, let's see, other things about this game. Uh, the two power uh, supposedly abilities they have. Diddy can um, he can roll. I really like Diddy for that. I use him the majority of the time, anyways. He's fast, and I like to just speed through levels. And then Donkey, he's got this slam with his hands. It can kill enemies. It's, I think that's about it for those two. But um, there's these other things in the game too that they add in there, as sort of like bonuses and um, rewards. They have levels where you can use them as weapons too, like they have a rhino, um, the rhino's pretty cool, it has a horn, you can just pretty much uh, bonk anything you want to get rid of it. The ostrich, it flies, sorta, you can use that. And then the other one that's funny is, well, it's got a funny name, is the swordfish is actually called Ungarde. I, I just think that's a funny name. And then there's, there's Squawks the parrot, so uh, they didn't really try really hard on that name, Squawks. Just <laughs> Actually, name this bird Squawks. Um, thing too that I noticed about this game that's different. Oh, you see, I beat it there. I think that's pretty cool. Um, the last part of this video is just the credits of this game. I mean, there are like it's like five minutes or seven minutes of credits, but it names all the characters like they do at the end of Super Mario World. Uh, it tells you what everybody's name is. It's pretty neat. That's what I want to show you guys. But something that's different about, I'm working on Diddy Kong 2 right now, something that's different about that with this game is that you actually have to use tokens to save the game most of the time. I mean, 
you get one free save when you go find a new area, but after that it costs two, two tokens. In this game, um, you can see he found his bananas. <laughs> In this game, uh, there's no token system. Um, you basically, you can save as many times as you want. I, 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 for that reason in particular, I, I think I would rate this game above the second one. Possibly the third one, I haven't played it yet and beat through it, but I think you have to use tokens to get pretty pissed. There's the Zangers. Um, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is their 3D um, rendered graphics on a 2D scale. So you're looking at a 2D game with characters and um, things that are rendered to look 3D, which is pretty neat. It's probably, uh, it's a lot like Killer Instinct is what I would say. If you ever played that game for the Super Nintendo, it's a pretty uh, cool little game. It's a fighting game, but the characters are really 3D. Got Squiddy there, reminds me of Mario. I hate the squids of Mario, I hate the squids of Donkey Kong. <laughs> it's Jason that uh, shark. Um, the other thing, too, is there uh, was a soundtrack made for this game. Uh, it was called DK Jams. And I, I mean, I've heard things that it, it did pretty good, but I, mean, I never listened to it growing up, so I didn't have the CD. But I just know that it got out there, there's a rock and roll. Russia. Um, the last thing I wanted to say is that it sold over 8 million copies, and uh, that's a big number for any system. There's that bird head, Queen Bee. She makes a reoccurring role in the uh, Donkey Kong 2. I'm not sure about 3 yet. Dumb drum. But uh, off this topic now, I'm moving on to my channel. My channel uh, is uh, just going to be a channel where I post videos that are about you know, basically video games. I mean, I might do some walkthroughs, or I may do some uh, what's called let's plays, um, anything basically that I like for the Super Nintendo or that I think is cool as far as classic video gaming. Uh, one of my future ideas I was thinking about doing is doing a playthrough of the uh, Donkey Kong uh, classic arcade game and the Donkey Kong Jr. classic arcade game which uh, would be pretty neat to see on YouTube so I was thinking about it. Yeah, I might do that. Other things I want to talk about with this game are the controls. Um, let's see, there's the Y button that uh, allows you to run faster. It's just like the dash from Mario. And then the uh, B button is your jump button. And uh, you cannot uh, use Diddy Kong as a weapon in this game in, as you can in 2. You can pick up... Um, Dixie and put her on her shoulders and throw them at people, or you can pick up Diddy and put him on her shoulders and throw him at people as a weapon. Uh, there's the old guy taunting us, so he could have beat it in less than an hour, which I highly doubt. <laughs> um, the thing that also in the controls, um, that's, a, that's about it really, it's just Y and B. Um, I'm trying to think of any other controls, but you use occupy the ostrich you might use a for flying I'm not sure if it's b or a but the other thing about this game that's kind of strange is the completion system so like you beat the whole game and you're thinking oh i got 100 percent. i beat every level and then you go to the beginning and you look and you say oh it's only at like 44 percent or 45 percent right in that range and you're like what happened so you go on the internet like i did and you search 100% completion until you figure out what's going on and it's, there's a lot of different um, collectibles in this game that you have to find and if you don't collect them all uh, not to take the Pokemon you have to go back and find them a second time so me not being the type to I mean I'm more of a 100% completion sort of guy but on this game and the Donkey Kong games I'm not really feeling replaying everything just to get completion Zelda I did, Ocarina of Time, we got everything, but for this it just didn't spike my interest enough. But what you'll see here at the very end of this video is um, me beating the game and uh, realizing that I'm not going to be able to get 100% completion 
unless I go back and re-beat all levels because I'm looking here, I'm like, 41? Why is it at 41? Well, should, is there more levels after that? Did I just not see it or something? So I go through and try to figure out how to get to the map screen. You gotta jump in funky flights here to get actually out to the map screen. And let you go for free. And I go back all the way up to the top and I'm like, oh, well, or it must be it then. So, just gonna say sign R to you guys. Uh, keep watching and try to put more videos up about uh, video games. And if you like this, uh, comment and please rate the video accordingly. And um, thanks for watching and uh, I appreciate the views.